Welcome back to Jet Speed Week on the RC Sailors. Today we're gonna take a look at this. It'll be linked in the description box below if you're already drooling. It's a great jet. We've had it on the channel a couple times, but I don't think we've ever done an official speed test. So today we wanna to get it in the air as a part of Jet Speed Week on the RC Sailors, but it's making a special appearance because I want to test something today with you guys. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I want to see if these fuel tanks are causing enough drag to be noticeable. When I flew this from my maiden to my follow-up flight, it certainly did feel noticeable in my opinion, but that could all just be my imagination. Who knows, maybe taking these off will actually slow it down. It's funny how powerful our imaginations can be sometimes. We'll believe whatever we kind of think we want to believe. So we're gonna put it to the test today take this off and do a couple passes with those on, get an accurate reading and then land it and take these off, assuming I don't explode on landing <laughs> and see if it goes any faster. I'm assuming that it will, but you know what assumptions do to us, right? Now we still have a lot of fun planned for RC Jet Speed Week, so for whatever reason, if you're not subscribed, you wanna be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the like button on this video too because I'm having a great time, hopefully you guys are too. And having said that, I'm ready to fly, so let's go. Well, that just doesn't look right on the side of that plane there, does it? <laughs> it really doesn't. But that is our speed meter and it is zeroed out and we are gonna see how fast we can get this guy to go. Now, I want to hear your guesses in the comments. I want the with and without fuel tanks guesses. Uh, but I also am curious, this is a 3S jet, just like the one we did recently on the channel, the most recent video, the Habu 50 millimeter. I'm curious, which is faster? Can this be a bit faster than the 50 millimeter Habu? This one doesn't look like it would be quite as fast, especially with the additional tanks and things on. And we did kind of cheat a little bit. We had the landing gear off of the 50 millimeter, <laughs> but just, I think this one does a bit better with those landing gear on the bottom, over, over hand uh, launching, though you can. Here's full throttle. It's definitely slower than the 50 millimeter Habu. Remember, we do have a uh, steerable wheel and a rudder on this, so that's nice. Actually, the, other's, the other has a steerable wheel too, but I don't think it has rudder control, the 50 millimeter Habu. So in my opinion, this is definitely going slower than the 50 millimeter Habu, but it does, it looks cool too. Here we go, full throttle pass. Now that is with the flight stabilization on. On this next pass, I, uh, you know what? I think we wanna save as much juice as possible. I'll give it one more full throttle pass, but that one right there that you witnessed was with the wind. This will be into the wind, about two mile an hour breeze. That's full throttle, guys. Definitely slower. We're gonna bank it around and get ready for a landing. What is your opinion though? Where's your guess? Abby, let's hear your speed uh, guess. 55. 55 miles an hour, that's pretty quick. I'm gonna go slightly under you on this oh, one. I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna go 50 miles an hour. I think you're wrong. I, okay, well, it just, <laughs> something about it just didn't look that fast. I think we're gonna definitely see an increase in speed when we take those tanks off though. I'm excited uh, to see it. Landing this without flaps or anything, cause this is speed week, baby. So we're landing fast today. What a beautiful landing, right? Back wheel sit down good, first, yeah. that was pretty good. Let's just roll it right in here, pick it up in front of the camera. There's no cheating going on. I'm not picking that up and running it down the runway. <laughs> you can run Let's that see fast. how fast we got. Let's see. Yeah, that's a six. That is a six. We hit uh, 62 oh miles an hour. Easy to see. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm surprised. It felt a bit slower than that. Now here's where the magic is gonna happen. This is where we're very curious about this little experiment. Uh, flight stabilization is trying to fight us. Well, that's what's nice about these little fuel tanks. They just lock key in and out of place. How easy are the landing gear to take off? And can you hand launch this one? The back wheel's very easy. The front would require a small tool, which I do not have. I uh. hand launch, I think I have, uh, but we're gonna stick to this and just know that that will slow it down a little bit. In my opinion, this is kind of more about how much drag do those fuel tanks add. So. Uh, it's at 62 miles an hour. I know it's gonna be faster. I didn't reset the meter, so if it still says 62, then I'll land it and we'll take it off again. Oh, oh no, no, oh, no, no. Whoa. That was some drag, that was some <laughs> drag. <laughs> I should have picked up a little more speed before trying to lift I off. I was surprised you went that way. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> that was nose into the breeze though, so. Kind of like the way this looks without those. Love the way it looks. I think it looks a little better without too, but some people might like how those fuel tanks sure. look. This is gonna be nose into the wind. It's starting to feel more like five miles an hour wind right now. I 
I think it feels faster. I know it's more agile. And after this couple speed passes, I will uh, throw a couple loops and rolls at it. Here we go, full throttle down the runway. I think that's faster. Is it just my imagination? I think it's faster. On this pass, we're gonna turn the stabilization off, that vectored stabilization. Here we go, it's off. There's not too much drag from that meter causing me to wipe out or anything, so let's go for a roll. We'll go left roll into a loop. Maybe more of a Cuban A is what I'm gonna to try to pull off this time. There we go. Go back over here, get it closer to the camera for the back end of that Cuban A. There we go. <laughs> we'll do one more full throttle pass down the runway, then we'll bring it in for a landing and see what the meter says. I don't think it's gonna be faster than the 50 millimeter Habu, but I do think, there's full throttle of course. I do think that's gonna be a little bit faster than with those tanks on there, it has to be. Those definitely are causing drag and adding weight. So let's land it quickly again, Abby. What's no your guess? Flaps. Oh boy, I'm, I've been off so far this week. <laughs> My guess, because I know it's at 62. Uh, My guess is, we need some brakes on that thing. Um, 70, I think 70. 70? I really had to think about it. I wanna say 62. Same, you're, but you're I'll say, same? I'll say 63. Oh man, okay. Price is right, huh? Yeah. No. Were you man. wrong? Were you wrong I'm again? So wrong. So what yeah. is it? 64. Oh, I was so close. I didn't think it looked like it was going much faster. No. <laughs> How's that possible? All you plane guys, you think you know everything. We don't. <laughs> 64. I am surprised. I really am. I really thought we all knew what we were talking about, didn't you? <laughs> It, it went faster, but only two miles an hour. And that could have been, let's face it, that could have been off of my loop, right? Because we didn't do a loop on the first one. So we're I not- I thought this meter is only bases at one distance. No, I fast think fast we've, distance. we've actually put that theory to Probably. the test where we did some diving. It's hard not extremely technical here on our channel. <laughs> it's very hard to get an absolute accurate reading, but that is really good. It does a great job on our ground vehicles and it gets really close for our jets. And what we can say is, even if it is slightly off, we're being consistent. We're using the same method of speed recording. So as long as we have something to go off of, we can at least say that is the same meter and this is slower than the Habu. Remember, we did some loops and rolls and things on the Habu as well with the meter on there. So we can at least say in comparison, that is the case. Now, no, we could have done a little bit more technical. We're not the Mythbusters. <laughs> it is it is maybe slightly faster. And in my opinion, it feels faster. It looks faster and it feels more agile when you're flying without those tanks, but they do add some durability and some cool factor. This is a very cool jet. I love flying it every time I get it out to fly. The cool thing is it's a 3S jet. So the battery cost is very low and it comes with its own flight stabilization system and flaps and rudder, steerable nose wheel. It's a beautiful plane for the price. It'll be linked in the description box below. We got that speed in our blood, guys, and I'm thinking it's just gonna get even faster. And having said that, I'm glad we fly with AMA. When Nate and Abby get in front of the camera and do experimentations with our speed meter taped on the outside, taking on and off these tanks, not necessarily knowing the outcome, I'm glad I'm flying with insurance. And if you guys are just going to the hobby shop, buying online, using our link, whatever, uh, and you're maidening your planes for the first time, you know that feeling, I know that feeling. No matter how good you think you are, even if it's a little UMX thing with stabilization on, the maiden is always a little bit nerve wracking. And I'm glad I've got insurance covering myself uh, on those maiden flights especially. But man, lately it seems like these non-maidening flights where my confidence is going up, but my ability is just slightly behind is where I get the crashes. So AMA will be linked in the description box below. And guys, what a beautiful day we've had to get out here and fly and share this. Jet Speed Week is off to a great start. I'm having a good time. This is the first time we've ever done this themed week on our channel. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while you're typing up, I'm gonna say thanks to God for getting us out here and sharing today with you all. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. You guys keep the channel going so strong and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. If you missed the first video of RC Jet Speed Week, that one is definitely worth your time. Uh, another 3S jet that actually goes 
quite a bit faster than this one. We know because we saw it with the meter. And that video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.